into it get into it hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's brie tv if you're new here i am brie your posh x soft chat your posh x soft grunge brow style as rash last videos i'm not in my normal filming area <gasps> my stars and my top match okay um we're doing a bath and body works haul because you know bath and body works collabed with um netflix for the bridgerton season three for bridgerton season three it's coming it's in two parts in the collab i didn't look at the perimeters for how long this collab lasts but I had to get the collection because I was like, at first I was like, oh, I don't care. I haven't shot the Bath and Body Works since fall, even though that cozy vanilla bourbon, mm, that one's so good. I love that one. But I saw the collab and I was like, bro, I'm a Bridgerton stan. I love Bridgerton. And then I was like, I don't even know if it's going to smell all that good. Then I looked it up and I was like, one of the scents smells like sounds really good. So I, I caved and I got it. And I was just supposed to get one of the scents. And I ended up getting something from every scent family so we're gonna do a little haul of the collection i'm gonna show y'all what i got i spent 107 dollars and one cent <laughs> but i saved 48 dollars and 35 cents so but yeah i think i got something from every scent family for the new collab i smelt everything from the collab so it's diamond of the season wisteria gardens um danbury shortbread i think and um Bridgerton library or something library oh and um Queen Charlotte's tea so I think it's four I mean five we'll see when we get into the so let's just get into the haul because now I'm glitching and I don't remember so let's see what this haul is giving so first we have the diamond of the season it's like the queen's it girl is the girl she picks um if I'm correct season one was Daphne Edwina I think is how you say her name Edwina Kate's sister I think it's Edwina those are the that those are the queen's it girls the ooh ooh she feeling y'all you are the pick you're the it girl you're the hot girl you are the tons like they need to keep an eye on you like this is the girl y'all need to wife up that's what she is and this one like the um fragrance notes are sparkling peach spring daffodil which i've never smelled anything with daffodil in and radiant jasmine i have like so many perfumes and lotions have jasmine in it um, if you've ever smelled, I think it's Born Dreamer, Charlie D'Amelio's perfume, if you've ever smelled it, it reminds me of that, like the peach notes. It really does smell like a peach fragrance, like kind of like a little peach lemonade, like you know the sparkling ice peach drink? It smells like that, like a little, like a light peach juice. If you ever had the peach orchard punch from Tropicana or Minute Maid, that's what it smells like. It smells really nice like i would wear this like when it's spring spring like when it's getting sunnier and you know the bees are being and the pollen is everywhere so right now and maybe if you're on a beach like it's giving like maybe a trip to miami like a little girl's trip a little road trip that's what this gives so i got the body lotion because it was also buy three get one free um oh no this one has a little stain on it but it's fine the body cream that has hyaluronic acid and I didn't know it had hyaluronic acid in it. So body cream, body lotion. Let's put those here. The perfume, the fine fragrance mist. I got the body wash <laughs> and the hand sanitizer because the hand sanitizer is like a dollar something. So best believe I got me a little dollar hand sanitizer because who doesn't like keep these in their cars like little cheap hand sanitizers you can put in your car or if you go out to eat keep a bunch in every one of your bag like get a bunch of little small ones that are cheap throw them in your all your bags school bags personal bags tote bags work bags so that way no matter where you are you have a hand sanitizer on go put in your car whatever you might carry with you or be in all the time keep a hand sanitizer on you but yeah i got the whole little collection <laughs> that's the only collection i got in full actually no i think this is the only one that had a um lotion perfume body wash everything everything else came in candles wallflower plugs and hand sanitizer i didn't get wallflower plugs that's the only thing i didn't get i do want them but because i already bought the whole fragrance collection i didn't get the wallflowers but if they go on sale and they include the bridgerton collection best believe i'm gonna get me some oh and soaps they also had them in soaps this has nothing to do with bridgerton it just happened to be in the same section it's the white tea and sage soap 
it was behind the Bridgerton collection. So I caved and I got it because it's a little foaming hand soap. Who doesn't want, it's a cute little bathroom soap and the bathroom soaps are like what, $3 I think? So I was like, okay, let me get this. I think I'm gonna save this for my apartment, like my next apartment, I'm not gonna lie to you because this bottle is really cute. So yeah, just saying. <laughs> so we got a little hand soap. Next thing I got, Queen Charlotte's tea. Um, It literally just smells like tea. Like I feel like if you had if you if you've ever had a tea party or like gone to a spa, this smells like like a little clean like smells like an everyday shower. No, this gives like everything shower vibes. Like you you're winding down from a long week and you're like you know what I'm like I'm gonna shave exfoliate, lather up my body lotion, wash your hair, take out your hair, do skincare like the whole nine tens everything. And this is what it gives. It gives ref like calming, soothing, rejuvenating, relaxation spa day. Like light this up, get a little massage, give yourself just some self-care TLC spa treatment. And it, it isn't, it's not heavy um, tea. It gives like tea bag, <laughs> like, like tea with milk. It gives like a tea, like a British tea, like an English, oh, it gives English breakfast, like English like you know like the brand stash it gives stash English English breakfast tea like this is literally Queen Charlotte's tea it's giving an English breakfast tea definitely with milk and, or some kind of creamer in it not piping hot but like warm kind of sat for a little bit <laughs> that's what it gives I don't know if that makes sense but it smells like a breakfast tea like it's not giving like ooh green tea it's giving breakfast tea Maybe like a black tea. <gasps> I was right! Black tea leaves with bergamot and citrus. I'm, 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 I'm smart, I know, I like tea. I drink black tea a lot. It gives, it's black tea with citrus. It does have citrusy notes. I just can't pinpoint what citrus, like. I don't know what citrus necessarily it is. Like, is it like? Maybe like a nectarine type citrus, like an orange black tea, perhaps clementine black tea. I don't know. The bergamot, I can't really pick up bergamot in anything. Like I don't know what bergamot by itself smells like. So that's a note I can never pick up. I do own a lot of fragrances with bergamot in it and patchouli. And those are two things I can't naturally pick up, but I know I like. It smells, okay, this is gonna sound weird. It smells like my dad. <laughs> it smells like a father who is really put together and wears cologne. Like, if you've ever been around a grown man or even just a man who is very like put together, got a little coin, takes care of him, like himself, they probably have a cologne that smells like this. Fresh citrus, it's fresh citrus, that's what it is. This is definitely a cologne that like a designer brand smells. Like, I think this is like a Gucci, this is like a Gucci cologne or even Calvin Klein. It's like a Calvin Klein or Gucci cologne literally as a candle. Also, it's just really pretty. Look at this. And the wallflower um, holders they had are so cute. They have, um, I think, carriages, butterflies, if I'm correct. I don't remember all of them, but they were all so cute. The candle holders, the, the crown, and it's $30 for this one. Like to hold this candle, it's a for the three wick. It's a gold crown. It is cute, but it's literally just a crown. And just to put the candle in it to hold it. That's, I think, 30 bucks. And then the wallflower plugs are something in the teens, if I'm correct. Or high single digits. They are cute. I just was like, I don't have the wallflower plugs to put this in. But they're cute. I would get them on a cute couple paychecks. Like, saved up. Next, we have, look at this, y'all. That is beautiful. Oh my god. So this is the Bridgerton Study candle. It literally reminds me of like a library. I opened it and it literally, I smell it in the room. <sighs> like this is one I want my library to smell like. It smells like academia. <laughs> it smells smart, big brain. Like focus on your academics. Maybe vanilla, is there vanilla in this? Amber, amber, isn't amber like a vanilla and, and um, is it vanilla and honey? I don't remember if that's what the notes for amber normally are, but amber, oak wood, dried orchids, and essential oils. 
and it was buy one candle get one free so i bought one and i got the other one free but once again look at this color story it is beautiful i wish they made fragrances in every like scent family because these would have been amazing especially if you're like a self-care girly like that would have been amazing but this is probably my favorite candle the um they had another one in wisteria gardens and danbury shortcake but i was like that one smells very similar to the strawberry pound cake which is why i didn't buy it because they don't smell that different from each other low-key smells exactly like the danbury short bread i think because they're both like sweet gourmand pastry bakery scents and after a while they all start to smell similar the notes might be semi different from each other but they they borderline smell the same to me like when i smelled it i was like what's the difference in what i'm smelling like they had a strawberry vanilla something lotion smell like strawberry pound cake <laughs> and i was like i need y'all to make a stronger differentiation differentiation different it's a stronger difference in the notes i don't know but this smells so good this is my favorite candle i smelled like i do like the danbury one but because it smells so similar i wasn't like <gasps> But this one, I'm like, yes, I smell candles all like all of these, but this one gave me more like a, I don't have this one. It's also so pretty. Like, look at the detail on this. It's beautiful. It smells like something new, but antique, which I know contradict each other, but I don't know how to explain it. Like, I imagine this is what the library and Beauty and the Beast smell like. Like, opulence. It it smells like opulent academics. On a laundry day, I want my laundry days to smell like this and my living room to smell like this. Like when you're studying, you wanna like this one. When you're doing laundry and cleaning, you wanna like this one. And then the last two scent families, I didn't get big items of them. Cause again, I didn't get the wallflowers and I tried to get something of everything. And I couldn't find the soaps. I think they sold out of the soaps or didn't have them in stock of the two remaining scents. So I got them in hand sanitizer because again, they were a dollar something and I couldn't find the sample packs all together. So I just picked up a bunch of individuals. So I have, again, a Bridgerton hand sanitizer. I think I got two or three of each. Um, Bridgerton Diamond of the Season, Wisteria Garden. Here we go. Okay, let me look at the notes of Wisteria Garden only because I cannot necessarily tell y'all off the top of my head because you know they don't write it on the hand sanitizer but with Sierra gardens according to they have as a candle the candle is really cute it's like this similar to this color scheme it's like a pink purple and gold wheat rosewood english rain and lemon petals so nature maybe fresh it smells fresh i think that's the best way to describe it <laughs> I, the lemon it does smell like lemon <laughs> it does actually smell like lemon it smells like citrus it smells like fresh citrus so it's giving okay i don't know if i'd want this i don't know how to tell you what english what is english rain as a scent i, I don't know what english rain smells like i when i went to england it wasn't raining <laughs> so i can't really tell you what the rain smells like or what sweet rosewood smells like but i know what lemon smells like it does smell kind of lemony i will admit that um probably it is stronger in the candle when i smelled the candle i wasn't a fan but maybe it's because I'm not a citrus, like a fresh citrus, earthy kind of girl. Like, I don't like fresh woods. I like warm, spicy, smoky, gourmand, warm, fruity. And this is a warm, spice, like, ugh. this is more like delicate, subdued, laid back, not as, and it, it just felt like, kind of gave me like cleaner. When I smelled the candle, it gave me cleaner. But maybe that was like, I had a lot of scents going on because Bath and Body Works made us smelling everything at once. I didn't love the candle when I smelled it, but I could be wrong. Um, it smells like a leisurely stroll through a springtime garden with someone special. I also don't like nature. <laughs> I'm not a nature fan. I love the ocean. I love any bodies of water. But grass makes me itch. I'm not really a flowers girl. Like flowers are cute, but they will die in my care. So maybe that's why I'm not ever like oh i've never been into floral scents like that doesn't do it for me but i did get the hand sanitizer because i do know some floral loving girlies who are probably gonna get these as little tiny like things in their gifts for their birthdays <laughs> and then um danbury shortbread it was shortbread i think i've been shortcake i don't remember 
the Danbury shortbread is it's, it says the sweetness and comfort you crave after courting all day long that is cute that's a cute description but it's vanilla whipped vanilla almonds and sugar crystals it still smells like strawberry pound cake low key less strawberry like it does smell it smells good don't get me wrong it just smells like something i owned a lot of like it doesn't stand out like i could for like if they sell this as a perfume and i bought it i would probably forget that's the smell i'm wearing but it smells nice if, if you smell mix bars whipped almond perfume or body mist it smells like that which is a good thing it smells great it's just there's nothing like oh about it but it's so pretty like the candle was cute it was a pink candle and i pulled it up it has this like little intricate design on it like a fiery color it gave passion like Danbury Shortbread gives passion bold. Bridgerton Library gives rich, no, I'm sorry, rich, it gives academic opulence. Queen, Char Queen Charlotte's Tea, it gives really self-care. Actually, I want to look up how to describe this one. So they described Queen Charlotte's Tea as attending an elegant tea party fit for a queen. It gives clean girl. It gives clean girl, elegant, kind of simple, like classic. So Diamond of the Season is described as ca you've captivated and enchanted even your toughest critics. I think because gold, gold is really eye-catching. So eye-catching, opulent, enchanting, passionate, fresh, <laughs> relaxed, a little stroll in the park. So that's what we're giving with this collection. We kind of hit every realm. I feel like it really does like kind of hit each like aspect of the ton of the Bridgerton ensemble. I really like this collection more so like Diamond of the Season and these two are my favorites that like I bought but like I'm not mad at anything I purchased. Now was I supposed to spend that much? No I went way over budget but was it worth it? Probably. A lot of these I low-key want to save though for when I move because I feel like it will look so pretty in my next apartment but I know that's kind of stupid just hold on to all of this until then but at the same time is it? Only a couple months <laughs> i don't know but i really like what i bought um i would recommend the collection because there's something for everyone like there is a fragrance there's like an item in every fragrance family so like you have gourmand you have florals you have fruity fresh like there's something for everyone if you're a fan of bridgerton as well i suggest it they, if you want really cute decor they have some things for the wallflower plugs and the candle holders everything is adorable i do love it for a collab i think it was a smart collab honestly because people of all ages watch bridgerton and shop at bath and body works it was a smart collab oh i forgot to get the little um but i forgot to get the little holders for the um hand sanitizers because they were like eight almost nine dollars but they have a teapot one y'all and it's so cute um and they have a bumblebee for the scent controls teacups they have so many cute little dec decor like i would recommend it oh for bridgerton study it's a little suit like with the um like the um boys all wear like their suits the blue suits i love it i really love it <laughs> but yeah this was a really cute collection like i'm not mad at it i would probably shop it again i don't know how long it's gonna last but i would definitely shop it again and yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this unasked for review that you got anyways. Oh, and my soap was white tea and sage, by the way. That's just what it smells like, <laughs> white tea and sage. Oh, and lemon. Isn't she so cute with this? In this? But yeah. Also, get into that color story, like, y'all. And look at the bee. Do you not love the color story we have going on? Like... Come on, like get into it. Get into it. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time in my next video. Peace.